Kid Hall. Hello and welcome to Young in Harp. Today's story we're going to find out about a couple called Ananias and Sapphira and what happened to them when they met Peter. So let's have a find out. Ananias and Sapphira sold something that they owned and they chatted and decided to keep some of the money for themselves and then brought the rest of the money to Peter and that was Ananias's job. And when he took it and laid it in front of Peter, Peter asked him, why have you lied? and kept some of the money for yourselves. You have lied to the people and, more importantly, to God. Immediately, Ananias fell down and died. Three hours later, Sapphira came to Peter. Peter asked her if the money he had was the full price for the land they'd sold. Sapphira said, Yes, that is the price. Peter again said, Why did you agree to lie to God about this? Your husband died, and so will you. And guess what happened then? She also fell down and died. And that's the end of our story. So in our story, we found out what happened when Ananias and Sapphira didn't tell the truth. It's important to tell the truth, even when we don't know what other people may think of it. Because God will help us, I'm sure. Because it's one of his rules that we're following is not to lie, one of the Ten Commandments. So if we're not sure what the truth is, and when someone's telling the truth, we can ask him, and he will guide us through the Holy Spirit. Our game today is a little different. You're going to have to use your eyes and perhaps ask somebody for help to help you work out what's true. So I've got some cups and I'm going to hide something under one of the cups and I want you to work out where the thing is by watching carefully using your eyes trying to work out which cup it is under, which one is true. So you ready? Let's have a go. So here are three cups and here's my coin that I'm going to hide underneath a cup and I want you to work out where it is. So you ready? I've put it underneath this cup. Watch where it goes. Which one do you think the coin is under now? Will it be under this one, the middle one, or the last one? Have a think. Remember to ask a grown-up if you need to. And let's check. Is it under the first one? Huh? No. This middle one? No. Is it under the last one? Yes. Well done if you thought it was under the last one. Okay, you're doing good looking with your eyes. You ready again? Under the first one this time. Ready? Okay. Where will it be this time? Is it under the first one? The middle one or the last one? Let's check. Not under the first one. Is it under the middle one? No. Is it under the last one? It is. Well done. Last time. I'm going to put it underneath.
first one, the middle one, or the last one. Use your eyes. Hope you did good watching to help you know the truth. It's under the first one. Should we check the other ones, make sure there's no more? Okay. Well done for using your eyes to work out the truth there. Our craft for today, we're going to do some coin rubbing. So you need to find some coins or some money and some crayons. It works well with crayons and a piece of paper. And we're going to make a field, which is what they sold at Anais and Sapphira when they brought some of the money. So that's what we're going to make. I'm going to show you how to do it now. So get your coin. Look at all the parts on it that's bumpy. Put it underneath your piece of paper where you want it to be. And get an adult to help hold it down for you. A wax crayon works really well. And just gently rub your crayon over the top of the coin. And it will come through the pattern that's on the coin. And then when you've drawn it, you can do what I've drawn and just draw a line at the bottom and then two more little lines to make the flower stem. And you can do lots of those to make beautiful flowers in the field that Ananias and Sapphira sold. Time to talk with Jesus. Thank you that you're always with us and that you want to teach us and show us the truth. Help us to speak the truth and do the things that are right, to be brave to do that when we might be scared or unsure of the reaction we may get, and help us to spend more time with you so that we get to know you, the things you like, and what is true. Thank you for being with us today, and always, in Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for watching Young in Heart. I hope you've enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye. Young in Heart. Young in Heart.